Today we're talking about the green list occupations or jobs in New Zealand. What does it mean? Well, the green list provides a fast track to residence and work to residence pathways. If your job is on the green list, you can come to New Zealand from the 4th of July 2022 on a work visa and directly apply for residence from September 2022. Now, under education, this is very exciting because now teachers are on the green list. So that's awesome. If you're from overseas, then this is great news for you. Secondary school teacher, you have to follow the steps to become a registered teacher in New Zealand. I have a video on this for you if you need a guide. So that's secondary school teacher, early childhood education teacher. For teachers, I can't seem to see primary school teacher here, but there's secondary school teacher and they tell you what you need to do, what the requirements are. So you need New Zealand registration with the teaching council and a provisional practicing certificate and an employment must be for the, for a position as a teacher in one of the following subjects science maths technology and pacific languages which include Tokelau, Nui, Cook Island, Samoa, Tonga, Tuvalu, Fiji, Rotuma and Kiribati and then there's ECE or early childhood education that's pre-primary school teacher they require you to have a New Zealand registration with a teaching council too and a provisional practicing certificate issued by the teaching council of Aotearoa New Zealand here are the other jobs that are included on the green list first we've got for construction construction project manager and these over here are the requirements and what to apply for with qualifications recognition services. I'll leave you to read through that. I'll put the link on the description as well for you to have a look at later. Project builder, including building project manager and site foreman. We've got quantity surveyor, we've got surveyor. And over here you can see the things that you need to do the requirements what they require of you and for engineering there's a lot for engineering there's chemical engineer materials engineer civil engineer geotechnical engineer structural engineer electrical engineer and many others there's civil engineering technician too electrical engineering technician electronic engineering technician telecommunications engineer and now under health and social services, we've got a GP or general practitioner, anesthetist, psychiatrist, specialist physicians, surgeon, heaps of surgeons, urologist, and many others under health and social services. Alrighty. Wow. Heaps and heaps. Okay, that's an overwhelming number of jobs. Right, and over here, health and social services, now registered nurse for whatever field it is, aged care, child and family health, amongst others. Midwife, now primary industries and science, environmental research scientist, food technologist, now for trades we've got automotive electrician and mechanics we've got plumbers as well and yeah that's the list those are the jobs that are included on the list for now but make sure you keep checking immigration new zealand's website or nzqa website in case they update this if you've learned anything from this video today please don't forget to hit like and subscribe see you next time